This man of God died in August of 2021, but his wife and children and his immediate family refused to bury him because they believed he would resurrect soon enough like Jesus Christ. This is the story of a notable South African pastor, Siva Moodley, who was quite a controversial pastor during his time when he was alive, known to performing certain miracles that are quite unusual and also known to saying certain things that are equally quite controversial. It was said that he believed that people could resurrect when he was alive as a particular man had once resurrected in his presence I believe or he prayed for the man to resurrect but it was said he prayed for a baby to resurrect while the mother was in coma and he had also performed a miracle where a fat woman lost weight in his altar like he placed his hand on a big woman and the woman lost weight through his prayers in front of everybody. And sources also claim that when he was alive, he did mention in one of his preaching that a true Christian should not fall sick. That anyone who falls sick or dies of sickness was not a true Christian and was not of God. Ironically, his death was caused by an illness. Hmm. But this is not even the weird part of the story. Yes, when this man was alive, he did put a lot of unusual mentalities about religion, belief and resurrection in the mindset of his congregation, especially his family. And I think that mindset he may have installed in them was what played a big role in what would follow after his death. You see, immediately he died, his family, especially his wife and children, did not have any plans of burying him. They wanted to keep his body in the house. They didn't even make an official announcement because to them, he hadn't died, that he would soon resurrect. But people in the church or someone, a church member called an undertaker or someone who works in the morgue to cater for the body and take responsibility for the body because at this point, it has to go to a morgue. And when the undertaker went to the family house of this pastor, the wife questioned him and was like, how long can he stay in their house before he starts decomposing? I guess they needed him to be in the house because they needed time to keep praying for his body or praying for him so that he would resurrect. But the mortician was like, no, you guys can keep him here. It's not healthy. It's not ethical. It's pretty much against the law and he would have to go to the morgue and that's where he should be because he's now deceased. But clearly speaking, I guess this woman is not as exposed or known or notable or quite aware that, I mean, immediately someone passes, I guess decomposition starts almost immediately. There are processes that takes place within 24 hours. I think that's rigor mortis. And then immediately the body begins the process of going back to dust. So there was not enough time and there would not have been a good answer for the mortician to give to the woman after she asked how long they can keep him in the house before he starts decomposing. I don't think there will be an answer because the mortician was like, they need to start the process of, you know, embalming him, cremating him and preparing him for burial. That's what happens when someone dies. Eventually, the pastor's wife allowed for the mortician or the undertaker to, you know, evacuate his body and take him to the morgue. But it did not end there still. In fact, this is where things got even worse. Before we continue, please like this video, comment your thoughts, subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed and you could turn on the notification button or the bell button there so you can stay updated should there be any future videos, you'd be the first to get notified. So when Pastor Siva's body was taken to the morgue, the people at the morgue, the morticians were preparing his body, they were trying to get the family to, you know, hurry up with the funeral preparation and get this man buried. That is pretty much what every mortician wants for their clients to prepare their loved one and bury the loved one so that they can get more people to cater for but to no avail. It turns out that Pastor Siva's wife was not ready for her husband to be put in the earth. Eventually they held a meeting with her where she revealed to them that she is not going to bury her husband because it's a belief that he would resurrect and obviously everybody has a right to believe and if your belief kind of means that you won't have to bury your loved one i guess it's within the law i think except there's a law that overlaps it which is you would have to claim the body within 600 days or the mortuary or the morgue could carry on with the burial but this funeral didn't have 600 days to wait <laughs> who waits for 600 days to bury someone so they tried their best to convince this woman that her husband needs to be buried. It's time and he's dead. But 
the pastor's wife kept insisting that they believe or she and her children believe that their father her husband would resurrect that she had seen it in a vision that she had seen it in a dream and that they would keep praying for him till he wakes up from the dead a particular source did claim that siva's wife and some other church members who were, were buying into a high dear you know because she was now running the church so she was now in charge of the church and doing all the seeing and overseeing so from time to time she would take people to the mortuary to pray over the body of her late husband hoping that he would resurrect it's not clear how long they did that for but they did that all through 2021 all through 2022 because he died in august of 21 so for the rest of the since he was taken to the morgue they kept praying for him throughout 2022 they did the same thing hoping that he would resurrect how dreadful like must this be for them and i don't even know what to feel and how to think but eventually the mortician and the morgue got fed up they got tired this is just ridiculous to them and so the person in charge decided that he was going to take this matter to the courts he was going to go to the courts to ask the judge to grant them permission to bury this pastor regardless of whether or not his family were ready and over time to say the wife would fight it and the wife would you know refuse it or counter it for some one way or another but in 2023 after a certain amount of time i guess 600 days or 300 days or after a, a length of time the judge was able to grant the funeral home the go ahead to bury pastor siva and boy were they happy they eventually got the permission they invited families of notable people of the man who actually also were in support of the burial but clearly since the man's next of kin or the people in charge of him directly is his wife and his children and they were not in support of his burial it was quite difficult to his other loved ones his other family members who would have wanted him to be buried but when the funeral home got the permission from the judge they held the funeral respectfully and pastor siva's friends church members people who really wanted him buried did come his notable families extended families all came but the people that did not come for his burial was his wife and children it's not like they weren't invited they were even before the court gave the funeral home a go ahead they wanted to let the wife know that okay we are doing this it's not like they're doing it behind her back they were expecting her to communicate back the funeral home even tried to reach out to the wife on whatsapp on phone call and they tried many times to get her on board but this woman literally told them no don't bury my husband but they went ahead and did it anyway i think he was buried this month march of 2023 and his funeral was attended by those who clearly wanted him to rest in peace but many people are now pointing out the fact that they should have listened to the woman they should have obeyed the woman that it was her call and she's the one in charge but here is the the issue and this is what the uh, funeral home did stand their claim on they said that the wife never claimed the body of pastor siva that the body was never claimed by the wife and it was just to them it was just the body that you most likely pick from the street and you don't know who the owner is except now they know who the loved ones or who the family of this man is but they, they never did came to the funeral home to claim the body if you're going to claim a body you're going to prepare for the funeral right and pastor siva's wife never did any of those which meant that it was now time for the funeral home to bury the body on their own and they did they buried the body on their own and it was successful respectful and lovingly attended it's so interesting how beliefs can be so extreme personally i feel like when this man was alive he was the one who installed this ideology into his wife's head he was the one who made his wife feel and believe that this is how it would be when he dies yeah, who knows how many times he must have felt himself or told the whole world that he's close to god is god's right hand man or he was the chosen one and i guess maybe when he died they were hoping you know that was the case with him maybe he would still probably be god's right hand man or anything but when you're dead you are pretty much dead he would resurrect again but i guess he would have to resurrect on the last day like everyone else <laughs> why are they waiting for him to resurrect three days after when he would still die again eventually i mean he was not going to live forever still 
even after he wakes up, he still wouldn't live forever. It's just sad that the wife and children did not attend his funeral. I can imagine how devastated they were. I can imagine how disappointed they probably was at the fact that he did not resurrect. Hopefully that changes their views. Hopefully it does. I'm hoping they won't sue too because there's a chance that they might sue, but I don't know what they'll be suing for. The court was the one who granted the permission to the funeral home. But you guys let me know what you think about this whole situation. Do you think the funeral home should not have gone to the court to bury the man? Do you think they should have listened to the woman and probably continued waiting forever and kept praying while the man is in ice block, hoping that he would break out of the stone age and resurrect. Tada! I'm alive, I'm back, I didn't die, I told you all, I resurrect. <laughs> so yeah, that was what the wife was waiting for. Too bad too bad thank you guys for watching don't forget to like share subscribe and let me know your thoughts in the comments below